How's going on everyone and welcome to one another video and in this video we are gonna build python script which is going to find out or spot out the differences between two images. So as you can see on the screen it is able to find this zebra is not in the frame and then this uh, flower right over here is not in the frame and then this tree is not in the frame. So uh, similarly we are going to build this thing into our video. One thing you'll have to keep in mind is not gonna work if colors are changed. So we are going to work with grayscale images. So uh, you have to keep in mind as an example, uh, this bird right here is orange in color and over here it's pink in color. So it's not going to work. So let's just do this quickly. All right, so I have created a blank script uh, onto my screen if you want the code it will be in down description you may just check it out so first of all we'll have to import cv2 and let's just also import numpy in case we need another thing we want is located inside sk image dot matrix and from this we'll have to import structural similarity and this is the main thing which is going to do all the work for us uh, in short basically it is just going to uh, take the particular pixel both had same location from the two images and then going to uh, calculate the difference between those two pixels and then store it inside other variable which will have exactly same dimensions right so now we will read our image one so let's say cv2 dot im read all right so it is first dot jpg i'll show you in a bit how does these images looks like and let us give image 2 also and it's second.jpg so i'll just show you in a bit okay so this is first.jpg and this is second.jpg all right so one thing you will have to keep in mind that these two images should have exactly same dimensions and these two images should overlap each other so so in case if you still not uh, exactly pinpoint the dimensions of each of the image so we'll just handle this thing also inside this script in case we get no error so we will just resize image 2 based on the dimensions of image 1 so let's just quickly do that now so image 2 will be going to equals to save dot resize okay so the dimension new dimension will going to be equals to image 1 dot shape okay so uh, this is image 2 which we are resizing and the shape will going to be this so now let's just quickly run our true loop and see if everything is working fine let's just show the images all right so i have written a true loop and showing image 1 and image 2 and we are waiting for escape key if it is pressed destroy all the windows and break out of the loop so let's uh, run this and everything is working fine actually so now we will convert these images to grayscale and then we are going to call the structural similarity function on them and then we just going to show it to the user so let's just quickly do that okay so uh, in this way you can just convert to grayscale and this is the uh, code for uh, just calculating the structural similarity between two images two frames and it returns two values first one is score which tells you how similar how much similar both of these images are and this is actually the variable which holds the image okay so let's just show it to the user so we are gonna call diff over here and let's just say this window 3 all right so uh, this is the result uh, basically the darker regions are the difference and this small grayed out region are because of the image do not exactly overlap each other but this will not going to create any much difference once we call the threshold function it is going to filter out those values so now one thing you will I, let me just first show it to you if i just print diff and i run this script and if we go above all right so i i just want to show this to you uh, the difference is actually in float points why because actually we once we calculate the difference obviously it will range from either zero up to one so uh, also it there is not just difference which is going on 
there is a perfect mathematical formula which you may just look out if you want to read out more about structural similarity so first we will have to multiply that with 255 so we'll say d times 255 so that the values values range from 0 to 255 and then we'll convert this to integer so we'll say u int 8 so now we will call the threshold function so we'll say thresh okay so uh, i have called the threshold function and instead of showing diff let's just call thresh variable and let's run this all right so there you can see that uh, how does this looks like uh, this is the threshold now we will just call the contour function uh, onto this thresh frame and then we are going to draw the boundaries around that all right so uh, uh, we are just calling find contour function onto this thresh variable and then we are uh, iterating inside this contours and then we are checking if the area is greater than 80 meaning we'll just filter out the noises okay so uh, let me just show you what do i mean by that so we are going to filter out these small uh, noises small areas we don't want to take them in account so we are going to filter them out and now we will iterate inside this contour and we are going to draw rectangle for every contour okay so now what we are doing we are checking if length of contour is greater than zero then only do that otherwise we will get error and then we are uh, calling bounding rectangle around c which is uh, part of contour and we are going to get x y w h and based on x y w h we are drawing the rectangle onto our image and finally we will show image one image two and thresh so let's run this and that is all about it how you can calculate the or spot out the differences between two images actually this is this is just a fun example of structure similarity actually in actually you can do a lot of stuff with this as i have done in my smart cctv project there i was using structure similarity to find out what thing is stolen inside the frame if you want to check it out you may uh, just go to that i link or in the description you will find the video so that was pretty much all about it and if you still finding any error in following this video you may just let me know in down comment section and uh, that's it bye i'll see you in the next video